Okay, so this is the last video of chapter 2.2 and we have three questions left, um, which is 49, 51 and 53. In fact, uh, for 49, uh, this is basically the same question that uh, we covered in the previous video about the elevator. So uh, if you feel like okay with it or you can just simply put down the answers directly, then it is fine for me. And I'm not going to cover again because you can just look back to that video. So I will explain 51 and 53. So uh, try first, pause the video, especially for 51, you should draw the free boy diagram carefully and uh, we'll check the answers later on. 2000 years later. When I look at this question, uh, it reminds me of a movie that I watched earlier, but then I can't find which movie it is. I, I really cannot. I, I hope I can find it. But then uh, there was a character that uh, the movie described as like is really powerful, like in terms of his muscle. So then that guy can somehow lift up himself by, well, sorry for my drawing here, but then lift up himself by pulling his hair so then the whole person can go up. And in fact, this uh, is maybe one, one, one thing that is not uh, good for certain physics because this is basically violating the law of physics because if you simply try to pull yourself up, then your pulling force and your hand trying to pull it, it will be an internal force. So no matter how hard you pull, at most you may simply break your hairs. You can never lift yourself up using this approach. However, interestingly, in this diagram, this is really a way that you can lift yourself up. If you can build a system like this with a pulley, with a string, with a bucket, something like this, uh, you can actually do it. So let's try to draw the free body diagram for part A. Okay, so for the person, okay, I'll try my best to draw. So for the person, then you would have a force that is of course the weight in itself that is 700 newton okay because the may 70 kg and uh he's applying like he's pulling the rope down think about that so he is acting he's exerting this force onto the rope so the rope would give him back the force in the opposite direction but the same magnitude so the tension is actually pulling him up in that case okay so um, that will be tension and also the floor will also give him the reaction force and yeah that is all for the forces acting on the person so this is part a for part b it will be the so-called elevator uh, i think it's not really good to call it elevator because it's 30 kg like what kind of elevator would it be i'll just call it a bucket okay so for the bucket uh, allow me to draw on this diagram directly because I, I really don't know how to draw uh, it properly maybe okay maybe like this okay okay that is the best I can draw so uh, the bucket itself will have a weight of 300 Newton again assuming G is 10 okay meter per second square so 300 Newton and uh, don't forget there is a rope here connected to the bucket and that is also pulling it up because apparently you can see the man pulling the whole rope down and this is going to move like like this okay the rope movement is like this so the tension uh, on to the bucket will be upward as well and other than that uh, don't forget the man just now we draw uh, there's a reaction force so this is adding on the man at the same time this force has an action and reaction pair which is adding on to the bucket also so it will be R as well so I'll use the same symbol because they will be the exact same value uh, in terms of magnitude so that should be all the forces that you have okay for part C we know that uh, now A equals to 0 0.5 uh, it really doesn't matter whether it is the bucket or the person because they must move together again right so um, the question want you to find the value of R Again, it doesn't really matter which R values you find because they are the same in magnitude. So let's just try to apply F equals to MA because we already got the diagram. So for uh, the case, since it said it is upward, so uh, we will define upward as positive. And so for the main, uh, we will have T plus R because both are upward. 
and then minus W equals to MA so we know T we actually don't know T we don't know R we uh, know W is 700 M is 70 A is 0 0.5 Okay, so uh, we could express T plus R equals to this would be 35, so 735 Newton. Well, let, let's just get, get rid of the unit first. Okay, so this is for the man. And then uh, for the elevator, we would have F equals to MA, and then the um, upward force is T minus R minus W equals to MA okay and T we don't know R is also unknown minus the W for this one that would be 300 equals to 30 A is 0 0.5 uh, leading us with this is 15 this is 300 so T minus R equals to 315 Newton okay so we have two equation this is one this is two and you want to find out right so finding out I guess the easiest way is to do um, if you add them together then you take away out right so other than that instead of doing that we would be doing one okay I'll try to save space here one minus two okay so we have T plus R minus T minus R equals to 735 minus 315 so here uh, the t will cancel out we would gain 2 r and on the right hand side we have 420 so r actually is 210 newton okay so we could find tension if you really want to but then uh, since the question didn't say so so let's just forget it Okay, part D. Part D is uh, just like another situ similar situation but different acceleration because they want you to find acceleration but then now they tell you R is 300 Newton. So um, allow me to change here but then I will hope when you are doing this question you, you try to redo the whole thing again and because of I apparently I don't have space here so allow me to erase and change some value and the whole thing is actually very easy so what you do is simply uh, you have the original R which we would now change it to 300 and then we don't know A okay so same for the blue one that is the bucket we would not know the R okay we sorry we we know the R we don't know acceleration so let's let me erase this and erase this as well okay and then uh, we now know is 300 and then a is the unknown and so yeah we, we don't actually don't know this as well so we have to calculate um, that it would be t minus 400 equal to 70 a and then for the bucket it would now be 300 as well and then um, a is the unknown so leading you to be t minus 600 equals to 30 30 a and so you want to find acceleration so you want to take out the t if we call it equation one equation 2 and oh, allow, allow me to erase here then I guess the easiest way to do is to have uh, 1 minus 2 so t minus 400 e minus the this one t minus 600 equals to 70 a minus 38 so on the left hand side t will cancel out giving us a uh, positive 200 cause this negative minus negative is positive right so positive 200 um, equals to this would be 40 a and so eventually a will be 5 meter per second squared and yeah that is uh, the answer for this question so I think the hardest part uh, as I always heard from the student in the past that saying oh this question is really hard I think the hardest part is simply 
uh, you have to draw the free body diagram correctly okay so uh, this is really the most important step uh, that you have to do whenever you do a false equation or false question so make sure you uh, learn it properly and uh, do the free body diagram always even if they don't ask you to draw it uh, you should always do it also okay last question so um, I guess what we need to do is again the free body diagram so for each of them they of course would also have weight let's just call it W1, W2 and also the normal reaction M1, N2 which actually doesn't really matter okay so uh, more importantly it will be the tension between them the most important so and here there is a I, I, I would like to use the lowercase letter so this will be the free body diagram of each box so I actually cheat here and just imagine I draw these two boxes separately I'm just trying to be lazy here uh, so I don't have to redraw the whole thing again so this will be the idea of the free body diagram uh, part A is asking us to calculate tension so uh, let's just try to use um, F equals to MA to start with like usual so horizontally we have T equals to 10a so obviously the a uh, we have here will be the same as the other box so uh, for the other box we will have f which is 60 newton minus t equals to 30a so uh, we can simply substitute this well you can call it equation one equation two and sub one and two i'm not going to write it um, but you can do it yourself so we want to find t right so we got to um, substitute away the a so this obviously should be 3t and so that will be 60 equals to 4t so t would equals to 15 newton okay so that is for part a part 2 is asking you what if the two masses interchange and in case you don't know then I guess the easiest way to do is to just simply uh, draw the diagram just really try to do it instead of just guessing or oh, maybe the same or maybe not okay so I'll draw the diagram again the size really doesn't really matter for the diagram so here is 30 kg here is 10 kg and then I will draw the forces again um, I guess I don't need to draw the vertical one if you're okay with that and then I just need to draw the tension and draw the tension here oh by the way uh, I actually chose going to the right to be positive okay so um, here what we would have should be again F equals to MA for both of them here we will have T equals to 30A and here we will have force which is 60 Newton minus tension equals to 10A so once again we'll substitute this into the other equation we will have 60 minus t equals to this time we should have only one third of the t right if you can't follow then just divide three for both of them so um, you have 10 a yeah that will be uh, one third of t so at the end you have 60 equals to 4 over 3 t and by solving the equation you have 45 Newton so interestingly you will find the tension uh, will be different for each cases um, but then something you need to know is um, the acceleration will be the same because if you try to look at the whole question what you in what you do is interchanging the boxes and so if you try to look at the whole thing as a system then you can actually negate the tension so you don't even need to think about it you just think about this whole thing is just one system so it's one thing one chunk thing of 40 kg and then it has a force of 60 newton so uh, no matter how you put them 10 kg first or 30 kg first uh, they would have f equals to ma and then uh, 40 40 no, not, not 40 60 newton 40 kg a and then acceleration will be 1.5 meter per second squared so no matter what how you put it they always have the same acceleration as 1.5 meter per second squared um, of course tension will be different but then uh, if you substitute this a back to the one behind it so 30 or 
this 10 kg then you can you can see that uh, obviously uh, then they, you have different t when you substitute into this equation okay so this is uh, the reason why or you can think about this if it uh, say in the later case here it is 30 kg and in order to keep this bigger block uh, to have the same acceleration then the tension has to be greater comparing to this one so um, that is some interesting idea you can find out